Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I am just here with a quick update. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what I'm doing, what's going on, stuff like that. Um, I feel bad I can't really play with the babies right now because um, I hurt myself over the weekend and um, my legs, I can barely walk right now. So I'm just recovering right now at this point. But I wanted to do a quick video and just show you guys a couple of things because um, I am hoping in the next week or so I can get this up and running. Um, I'm going to be putting some stuff on Facebook for sale and some on just some selected things on Etsy uh, just so people can more people can find me that way. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the same things up. Like you might see... Uh, okay, for example, I make uh, miniature scratch mittens. Um, you may see this particular pair on Facebook, but a different pair on Etsy. I think that's how I want to do it, because there's no reason to show you the same things on Facebook and then have a problem where somebody bought that and I don't have it for Facebook. I mean, for Etsy. So, um... I think there will be different things on Etsy that you can buy um, if you didn't want to buy through face uh, through Facebook, yeah. Because not everybody has Facebook. Um, the other thing is, is I will be doing promotions. I'll be doing, you know, um, you know, I'll have like a special deal for um, the grand opening. I'm gonna just do. I haven't quite figured everything out yet, guys. But um, I think. Uh, you know, my stuff is going to be marketed at a reasonable price for everybody to get, be able to get what they want. We have these pacifiers that are, have the nipples, so these are specially for your silicone babies. And then I have these smaller ones, and I have more stuff coming in. Um, we, we're going to be making ones. This is for your four, three, four, five, six inch baby. Um, I'm not sure if it would fit a seven. It depends. I just I don't have anywhere. Be I have six inch babies, a four and a half inch baby, um, a four inch baby, and then. Um, I don't have any 7, 8, or 9. I have two 10s, and then I have the next, um, and I have a few that, um, are 12s. I'm not, or 13, I guess. I'm not really going to be, you know, doing stuff for them, but some of these pacifiers did fit that size, so I would let them know. Also, I will be making, um, different, um, different things of this uh of the toys and just wanted to show you something i showed you guys this before in a different video and it really just depends i think what i'll do is these would have to be custom ordered only and um you tell me like the these are for your you know anywhere between a four and a ten inch baby and it's just a miniature diaper cake these work really good for when you want to have a birthday party for them or if you want to have a baby shower for a baby that's coming. Um, the smaller cakes are perfect for that. And the smaller cakes would come with, like, this is Owl, so this would be like this. And then um, it might come with, I haven't decided exactly yet, but it might come with, like, a passy here and some stuff and we're going to decorate it and then this would be like one um, price, one set price uh, for these. Um, so uh, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but uh, there's all different kinds that you can make besides just the owl one as you see. You don't have to have this top piece here if you don't like it. Um, it can just be these two. Um, it really is up to you. But, um, yeah, that's all I can really tell you right now about this. Um, it's just a miniature diaper cake, so I don't know if these would sell or not. I will try and finish making that one, and then 
I guess I'll try and sell that one and see if it sells. And then if it does sell, I'll make another one. If it doesn't sell, then I probably just won't make them for sale anymore. Um, it just really depends if that's something that somebody is looking for. Um, uh, I don't know if I said it before, but I, I'm also making um, hospital equipment for these different size babies. And um, it's not easy to make, but um, they'll have like hospital bracelets and... Um, a little blood pressure cuff. They might have an oxygen thing on their foot or something like that. And then some tubing for their, you know, whether it's their nose or their mouth and stuff like that. So um, we'll be doing that stuff as well. Um, and I have enough material to work with just to start. And um, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, at least to start with, I'm going to sell them as a set, and then I might have a few things that might be individual that you can buy. Um, and that's really all I can tell you at this point. So we're just trying to finish up, get product um, already made, and so we can put it up. And hopefully by next week, I'll be able to start. Um, I want to have at least all these little mittens done. Um, we have like this size, or, or we have for boy, boys and girls, so we're going to try and get that done as quickly as we can, and then we do have some passies for those sizes already um, made, there's more to become, and yeah, I just have to make some uh, hospital stuff. We also will be having different size um, uh, baby medicine. And that will also be for sale. Um, you can just pick out the color that you're looking for for that medicine. Uh, you let me know what... Uh, I haven't quite decided if that's what I'm going to do or if I'm just going to make a, diff a couple of different kinds. And then you guys just pick what, which one you want. We also have all different size bottles to work with. So I will be making the baby medicine for all different sizes. Just keep in mind, toxic to humans, you can use it for the babies. Um, I wouldn't necessarily put it directly to their mouth, but you can... Um, it would be really easy to put it in a baby bottle or, um, or you know, some other... Um, some other pacifier-like thing, but no one's made those yet. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make those, but we also have a couple of other ideas that are in the works that are that might get for sale as well. Um, I made a um, miniature hospital forehead thermometer, and... Um, I might make the rectal thermometer as well. I haven't done that yet. I've only made the forehead one. And um, I have to get some more material for that so I can make them. So I may not be able to have everything uh, all at once. And um, we're also going to be doing the fake pee and poo patties as well. Um, I haven't decided if I'm just going to do it on the cloth um, cloth ones, or if I'm gonna, um, go ahead and make just patty ones. I might do both again, um, but I need to wait so I can get some more silicone for that. Um, and that will be, those would be more for, actually, either, um, baby, I guess, uh, for your silicone or your reborns, but it's more specifically towards your reborn babies, um, instead of your... Um, you know, because the silicone babies can, you know, you can use stuff to make poopy diapers out of it. Um, but then there are some people that just don't want to do what I do to their, uh, silicone babies. And this would be a perfect, um, perfect alternative for that. So for those that want to have, like, that fake poopy diaper, they can get these. And that's really it. So... Uh, we'll be working on that as well, and hopefully, you know, in the next 
you know, week, I can have enough product to get things started and up and running. Alright guys, so thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe. Thanks guys.